how would quantum codes be able to be unbreakable? And does it, it involves entanglement somehow. Right, right. So, so, so tell us about that. What we can do, we are talking about quantum entanglement. Two particles, for example, two photons can be placed in different locations and other one can go to, say, Alice, another one can go to Bob. Alice and Bob then will interrogate photons, so they perform measurements on those photons. And they respond in such a way that whenever Alice registers bit value zero, Bob will register bit value zero, and so on and so forth. But the basic idea is that if you interrogate entangled photons in two different locations, the two people who do that, they will end up with a string of identical and random numbers. And then you can use those random numbers later on for secret communication. Now, the interesting thing is that if there is an eavesdropper on the line, so if, if it is indeed the case that somewhere in between uh, the source of entangled photon and Alice and Bob, there is the enemy trying to eavesdrop and tap on this, by doing so, the eavesdropper is going to introduce certain errors. And Alice and Bob, by running a very simple statistical test, will be able to find out that there was indeed an eavesdropper on the line. So this way, they will not, they, they know that there is an eavesdropper, and therefore they will try to repeat this, what is called technically key distribution scheme, over and over again. Because they'll see that there were some errors that yeah. shouldn't be there, so there must have been somebody sneaking. Uh, That's uh, right. So there's a simple statistical test that tells you that someone is there on the line. So the purpose of eavesdropping is not to, um, to prevent Alice and Bob from communicating or distributing this key, it's to just fool them. So that they think that there's no one there, and eavesdropper is sort of hiding its presence and, and knows the secret that was distributed to Alice and Bob. Do you think it'll ever become the case in the future that you can invent some ways to eavesdrop undetected? That's the point. In the whole story of cryptography, there was always sort of a uh, a battle between code makers and code breakers. Uh, whenever people came up with a very clever ways of encrypting something, sooner or later someone would come with even more clever, more beautiful way of decrypting it or, or breaking the code. In this particular case, we believe that the notion of security is somewhat different. It just relies on, on, on the laws of physics. And I, let me just venture, let me just make this statement. I think that, that, that the quantum cryptography or at least entanglement-based crypto systems will probably be unbreakable if implemented properly. So there will be no way of eavesdropping on the system because any act of eavesdropping will be then detected. Edgar Allan Poe famously said, any code made by humans can be broken by humans. Yeah, Look what happened to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>